morning, children. Good morning, Teacher Carlo. Today we are in the book of Exodus. Today I am going to read a Bible story about Moses and Pharaoh. Is the Pharaoh good? Let let us find out. Moses and Pharaoh. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian being an Israelite workman. Moses was so angry that he killed the Egyptian. Then he fled Egypt and lived as a shepherd in the desert. Back in Egypt, Pharaoh made life even harder for the Israelites. How they longed to escape! As Moses was leading his flock of sheep, he saw a bush in the fire. Although the bush was burning, it didn't burn away. Then a voice called, Moses, Moses, I am the God of Abraham. Moses trembled. The Egyptians are oppressing my people, the Israelites, said God. I want you, Moses, to go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. I couldn't do that, said Moses. I will help you. But I stammered and stuttered. Please send someone else, pleaded Moses. Take your brother Aaron with you. He's a great speaker, said God. So Moses left his seat and returned to Egypt. Moses and Aaron stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Oh, Pharaoh, said Aaron, God says, let my people go so that they can worship me in the desert. I don't know this God of yours, shouted Pharaoh. And I'm certainly not letting the Israelites go free. Then he ordered, make this Israelites work even harder. Pharaoh's making my people work harder still. Moses complained to God, then go back and warn you. God told Moses, if he doesn't let my people go, the Egyptians will suffer. So Moses and Aaron returned to Pharaoh. Aaron threw down his stick and it turned into a snake. Pharaoh's magicians threw down their sticks too, and they also turned into snakes. But Aaron's snake gobbled up the rest of the snakes. Still, Pharaoh didn't do what God said. So, God sent very hard times in Egypt. Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh again. God says, let my people go, said Aaron. If you don't, he'll turn the river to blood. I will not let your people go, replied Pharaoh. So God turned the water of the river, river Nile to blood. No one could drink it. Ask your God to turn back blood, to turn the blood back into water, said Pharaoh. Then I will let your people go. God did so, but still Pharaoh didn't let the Israelites go. After this, God sent hordes of frogs all over the land. Still, Pharaoh did not let the people go. God sent swarms of flies across the land. Still, Pharaoh did not let the Israelites go. God made all the animals in Egypt fall sick. Still, Pharaoh did not let the people go. Painful sores appeared on the Egyptian skin. Huge hailstones fell in their fields. Grasshoppers called locusts ate every leaf and every stalk of grain. Darkness fell across the entire land of Egypt. Still, Pharaoh did not obey God. And finally, God told Moses, the firstborn of everything living in Egypt will die. To escape this, the Israelites must mark their doorways with lamb's blood. So the Israelites splashed their doors with lamb's blood. At last, Pharaoh told Moses, get your people out of Egypt. So the Israelites left. Moses led his people out of Egypt on the long journey to, that, to the land that God has promised them. In later years, the Israelites remembered that God saved them in a festival they called Passover. The lesson of this story is that when you are a leader, or the boss of a group, work, etc. Don't be cruel to your servants and obey God's word. It's question and answer time. First question. What is the name of Moses' brother? 
Me! Me! Yes, Krabby? A-Run! Correct! Last question. Is the Pharaoh good? Me! Me! Yes, Spots? No! Very good! Thanks for watching and God bless! Make sure to like.